by the way <laughs> hey thanks for joining us today live music nation podcast festival edition i'm your host jake gill today we were dan allman he's at the heritage festival and experience arrow rock dan thanks for joining us thank you thank you for having me dan give us a little background on you where'd you grow up talk a little bit about your family and your career I, actually i am uh, uh born in kansas and raised in kansas a graduate of university of kansas and now live in Arrow Rock, Missouri. Yeah, very cool. Very good, yeah. And I'll <laughs> tell everyone, the border of war with Kansas and Missouri is very much alive. Oh, yes, it is. Yes, it is. <laughs> yeah. Yes, it is. Tell us a little bit about Experience Arrow Rock. Experience Arrow Rock was formed to <clears throat> produce events for the historic town of Arrow Rock, which is on the National Register of Historic Places. There were only 22 of them in the United States. And um, we put on close to 10 events a year. Oh, wow. The Heritage Festival, which is in October, is really the, the main and largest event. There are Fourth of July parades and Easter events and, you know, summer little concert events and stuff like that that happens all year long. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. So for the for the person who has never been to the Heritage Festival, I asked these three questions. What is it gonna look like? What is it gonna smell like, meaning food? And what is it gonna sound like, meaning music, environment, atmosphere? Yeah. What do you got there? Usually for the Heritage Festival, we get between 4,000 and 5,000 people on a Saturday and a Sunday. <clears throat> Ararat is a small town with only 56 residents. Uh, <laughs> and it gets um, pretty crowded here on those oh, days. Shit. There are usually between 60 and 90 vendors that range from historic crafts to modern crafts. And we have uh, entertainment of five musicians that are located downtown. All right. Who All play right. a range of country western to blues to uh, jazz to popular music. So yeah, everybody seems to like it. And there are tons of food trucks. There usually five. There are also two restaurants in town, which is Catalpa, which primarily has become a pizza restaurant. It's very delicious. And then the historic J. Houston Tavern, which is the first restaurant west of the Mississippi. Really? Uh, that's been running, running continuous. Well, not actually that. Excuse me. It's the first continuously running restaurant west of the Mississippi. Sure. Sure. And it, it features... <clears throat> sit-down dinner uh, of traditional sort of what they call country fair so it's a it's a great it's a great place that's awesome so let's, let's jump in a little bit um what, what is your role with this organization and, and talk a little bit about uh some of some of the favorite things you've been doing you know air rock there are there are five major organizations which are the village board of air rock <clears throat> the ever popular Lyceum Theater in Arrow Rock, which gets close to 13,000 people attending a year. There's the Missouri River Bird Observatory in Arrow Rock, which is, does conservation and bird counts and things like that. And then there is Experience Arrow Rock, which really reports to the board of Arrow Rock and producing the venues and thing, not the venues, but the events and things like that. So, that's it in a nutshell and everyone in the in the town participates in all of the events and it's a really great time oh spectacular uh look looking back dan what are what are what are some of the great memories that you have of the heritage festival the, you know, the, uh the great memories are like most recently was uh we had the lyceum in town hosted tony danza oh. uh for, for an event, and I got to meet him and have dinner with him, which is great. Upcoming, there is a Wendy Liebman. She's a comedian <clears throat> out of Los Angeles who is coming, and uh, I'll be able to meet her on the 29th. Oh, you know, that's, that's fantastic. That, that's yeah. probably the, the most memorable memorable events. So. <laughs> that's that's good. What, what's the best part of your job? What's the best part of being involved with this for you? <clears throat> um, it's, it's just, you know, dealing with Era Rock and, and uh, all the people that are involved. And of course, it's a, it's a um, non-paying position, by the way. So it's, 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 it's fun <laughs> to do it. And, 
you know, what we are doing is I am a graphic designer by trade or trained. Right, right. Um, and uh, specializing in brand advertising. So we are slowly building a brand or a visual brand for Era Rock. Very cool. Yeah. Very cool. And then with there's another group in town called the Friends <clears throat> of Era Rock, which manage and maintain the historical tr structures in town, which there are 13 of them, which is a never ending battle, basically. Yeah. yeah. No, I imagine. There, <clears throat> I imagine. There were places in Arrow Rock where you can stand on Main Street, which is very easy to do because there's not a lot of traffic. And it looks like you're in 1820s or 1829, Missouri. So oh, wow. It's, yeah, the it's, it's interesting thing about Arrow Rock is that last year, 50 years ago, well, we had the 50th anniversary of the filming of the movie Tom Sawyer. Right. Which took place here because they didn't have to build any sets and things like that. So it starred Jodie Foster and... Oh, I can't remember the names of other people that were there, but she was, um, so we had, some of them came back. Some of them are now deceased, but it was a, it was a fun time. It's Very fun cool. to watch the movie Tom Sawyer and see Era Rock as it looked then and as it looks today. So Yeah. Yeah. No, that's, that's awesome. Um, all right. Let's jump in and talk about a couple of questions because I am in live music and live entertainment. And uh, I always like to survey the nation and, and just get people's opinion. So I'm going to ask you this question. What is the best concert you've ever seen in your entire life, Dan? Probably um, Bruce Springsteen, which was recently. Oh, fantastic. He's, he's just amazing. So yeah. that was at the, well, it used to be the Sprint Center. Now it's the T-Mobile Center in Kansas City. Okay. All right. Perfect. You could bring one musical act to Era Rock for your fat to your town for your festival, who you bring in? Dead or alive, money not an issue. Uh, let me think. Let me think. 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 Um, dead or alive? Dead or alive? Um, I well alive. Body rate. Oh. She would do well, very well here. In, yes, she in would. Era Rock. Yes, she would. Very good. All right, Dan, this is the segment of the show. You get to ask me any question. If you could ask me a question, what would you ask me? Uh, what would I ask you? How long have you been doing this? Podcast or music? <laughs> Both. Both. All right. So podcast uh, since COVID. We, uh, because we tour, we saw an opportunity to share information. Um, some venues just completely shut down. Some communities just completely isolated themselves. Others came up with creative ways to continue to be safe, but yet get people together, even in the social distance. And so we utilize this mm -hmm. podcast to share ideas. And then after COVID, you know, released and, and the world opened back up a little bit, people were anxious to travel. And we enjoy meeting new people, playing new venues. And, and we just saw the opportunity to expand that for other people so they can make travel plans and vacation plans, go to new places. Mm -hmm experience new things, new events, and new people. And and uh, yeah. I'm encouraged by what we're seeing. Um, numerous studies coming out now showing that uh, uh, social interaction actually uh, increases the immune system, decreases heart disease, diabetes, so many health benefits from getting people together. And I want to do whatever I can to encourage that. It's Of course, there's some self-interest in that because, because that's part of my career, you know, as it goes through there. But I know the feeling that I get in those environments and that serotonin release and uh, just the, the, the magic that happens in the blood chemistry when, when people get together and it's, it's super important. So people like you, Dan, what you guys do, um, it's vital not only to your community, but uh, you know, it's people that come into town and, and, uh, and, and share that and, and take it back to their communities and hopefully that spreads as well. Yeah. Yeah. Well, during when at the height of COVID, we shut down all of our events <laughs> And slowly built them back because they're mainly outdoor events. Yes. Yeah. You know, we were very uh, respectful of people and their choices. Yep. Okay. yep. Absolutely. Absolutely. Dan, how do people find out more about what's going on, Arrow Rock? The best place is to go to a website called arrowrock.org. And it gives the history of the town, all of the events that are taking place. It has, uh, images of era rock and all of its past its past residents 
you know, George Caleb Bingham, who is known as America's painter, lived and painted here. So his house here is a national registered landmark. So it's a great place to come. And visit. No, absolutely. Very good. Dan, thanks for joining us today. I appreciate it. Hey, thank you. Thanks for having me. You're Jack. welcome. You're okay. welcome, Dan. Well, baby, I'm on with a bottle.